Hey guys, Little Gas Nico here. It's a beautiful sunny day here in Michigan. We usually don't get that. Um, anyway, here's part three of my Nissan 62 kilowatt hour battery failure. December 15th, took it to Nissan. Um, told them my concerns. Drove home. They Within like an hour or two, they sent me a thing saying the car was ready. I'm like, what do you mean you're ready? There's no way you could have run a diagnostic that quick. So I gave them a call, and they said, well, there are no fault codes, so everything's good. Well, I knew that. I knew there were no fault codes because there weren't any fault codes when I dropped it off. There was no check engine light on the dash. So I told them my concerns about the cell. They said, in order to do the, to look at each individual cell, I have to pay for a battery health test. $77. I mean, well, but wait, the battery's under warranty, and I have issues with a cell. Only way you can tell if I have it, if a cell's bad, is if you do a cell test. It should be covered under warranty, right? Um, they said, well, if they find a problem, then they'll waive the fee. I said, whatever. I didn't agree with it, but at that point, they held me hostage. I had to pay $77. So I agreed. And uh, I told them I'm not going to pay for it if they found a problem. And um, they agreed to that as well. Long story short, they came back, gave me a printout of all the cell balances and, you know, the, the cell voltages. And they said, everything's good. No problems. Your battery is actually in really good health. That was on December 15th. Fast forward to do this today, December 20th. My wife came home last night, didn't plug the car in because she was had 100% when she left work. Came home. She probably, I didn't check it, but I'm going to guess between 75 and 80% charge 70 at the lowest so she's only going to use 25 to 30 percent usually 20 to 25 percent but let's say she used 30 percent so she had a 70 percent charge i'm like well don't you have enough to get to work she said yeah i said well don't worry about it just charge it at work she sent me this picture when she got to work five percent battery left now worst case scenario she should have had 40 percent left and the worst case that's if she used 30 percent on the way home last night and 30 percent on the way there she does blast the heat and that's fine. There's, it's a 62 kilowatt hour battery. She's driving 40 miles. Blast all the heat you want. You got plenty of battery. So I don't understand why she lost 95% of her battery in a less than 80 mile round trip. It doesn't make any sense to me. So now I got a little irritated because I just had it in for this issue. And they didn't send everything's fine. Your battery's fine. You don't lose 95% state of charge on a 62 kilowatt hour battery in 80 miles. It's not even close. I mean, 50% maybe, but nah. Even 60% you might lose, not 95%. Anyway, so I immediately called Consumer Affairs this morning, Nissan Consumer Affairs. It's a uh, 1-800-NISSAN-1 if you're wondering what the number is in case you're going for this. Anyway, so I called and I started a claim. Told the... Told, uh, consumer affairs people exactly what's going on how the battery is losing charge rapidly and it'll also gain a lot of charge back on the regen which is not normal it's indicative of a, of a cell of a cell going bad told them my feelings on the dealership my history with the dealership and they gave me a claim number. i then took that screenshot my wife or a picture my wife took of the dash the five percent and I sent it to my service advisor at Nissan, followed up with a message saying that uh, I filed a claim with Nissan Consumer Affairs, and I put the claim number in the text message. Uh, here's a screenshot of that as well. So I got that going, and they said they're going to hand it off to a regional manager. They gave me the regional manager's name. And said that they will be in contact in one to three business days. So hopefully by the end of the week, I'm going to hear from this regional sales man or regional sales rep or claims rep or whatever you want to call them, and we'll be able to progress this along. So that's where I'm at. Uh, it's a quick little update. I don't know what else to do. This is uh, this is very discouraging. I had a lot of hopes for this car. Um, I wanted to. I wanted it to be a half a million mile car. 
I wanted to easily put a half a million miles on this car to prove to all the EV haters in the world that these are good, reliable. You can drive them for a long time, put a lot of miles on them, mostly uh, maintenance-free, worry-free. Uh, Nissan took that away from me. I can't do that now because it's not worry-free. Because now I worry about my wife's safety. I did tell Nissan also that this car is not safe in the condition it's in because it will throw a fault code. It's not there yet, but once, um, once the Michigan winter really hits, we get really, really cold temps, that car is going to fall out. So what do I got to do in the meantime? I'm not going to put my wife's life at risk driving on the busiest expressway in Michigan with a car that is a ticking time bomb and it's going to throw a fault code. So I'm going to have to ask her to swap vehicles again. She doesn't want to do that. She's very irritated from the last go around. She's not happy that she's still driving a Nissan product. Wow. I'm going to end up driving that car again. I'm going to give her my BMW for a short stint, at least through the winter. So she's safe. It's going to put a strain on my marriage. Uh, I've got a good marriage, but, you know, she's not happy. She's not happy with me. She's not happy with the situation. Uh, and I don't blame her, but that's where we're at. So, again, we're driving another Nissan Leaf that's unsafe, unfit for the road race. And Nissan, again, is giving me the runaround. So, hopefully, Consumer Affairs will step up to the plate, do the right thing. They asked me what was the outcome. I said either repair or replace the battery and in the meantime provide me with reliable safe transportation because i don't feel that car is safe and i told them i documented the date and time that i told them i felt the car was not safe so i'm going to hold them liable anything that may happen from here forward so see what happens and uh don't forget to like share and subscribe click that notification bell so you can stay updated and uh let me know what you think put your put your comments down below and I'll gladly reply. Let's get a discussion going. Maybe you've gone through this and tell me what your outcome was. All right. Thanks for watching. God bless. And if I don't talk to you by uh, Christmas, have yourself a Merry Christmas.